Hi, good afternoon. This is Carrie Sparks with Pioneer Title, your Arizona Title Gal. I can reach at 602-715-5704. I would like to welcome everybody to uh, watching myself and John here today talk about a really cool product that he has um, in his wheelhouse. Um, so I'm just going to kind of turn it over to him because what we're going to learn about today is a product called Trio. And it's uh, something that Home and Land Financial Services has that they offer. Um, something if you're a real estate agent and you've got some people that are on the fence, maybe with their credit, or you're somebody who is a renter, or you know somebody who would like to purchase, this may be a really interesting conversation for you to listen in on. So I'd appreciate a few minutes of your time. Um, John, can you please introduce yourself and give your licensing information? Sure. Uh, John Preston here with Land Home Financial. My NMLS number is 14369260. Phone number is my cell phone. He's a direct get me to pass us that way. It's 928 area code 273 2248. And so last week, John and I did, uh, for lack of a better way of putting, kind of a teaser um, that we put out. And we kind of went over, you know, who is Trio? Where are they out of? Why are they doing what they're doing? So that video is actually located over on my YouTube channel. So if you'd like to catch up, definitely go over there or send me an email or message and I'm happy to forward it. But today we're going to talk about Trio specifically. How does this product work? John? Well, think of, you know, think of Trio as the third leg of a stool. And traditionally, people rent or they own a home. And we're not counting those that live with their parents right now. But uh, in between, it's kind of a hybrid opportunity called Trio. And Trio has been around, as we discussed last week, for about 20 years. Now, much of what Trio is, is very similar to what the mortgage process is like. But they have some exceptional areas where they have some latitudes. They have some areas that they can work in that, especially in today's current environment, lenders can't get to. Um, so, but they, they have requirements. So, but Trio is a lease to own program. The intent and the real key part is own. Their goal is to move you from being a, a formal tenant in their program to full home ownership in a two to three year process. This is one of the key differences is they have two to three years to get you ready. The lender has two to three months at most years to get you ready to buy a home. Uh, because the, especially with the market moving so quickly right now, it's very challenging because it, Rates are moving, in this case, down, but prices are moving up and inventory is shrinking, seems like almost daily. So Trio can put a customer in the marketplace looking for a home with a hybrid opportunity. So the requirements, remember, if the lender has requirements as a, for a buyer, Trio has a, same, a similar thing. But they do require, and this is a couple of them are real hard and fast, they do require a minimum income of $3,600 a month who's ever qualifying for the lease. That's not negotiable. They do require assets of about $4,000. Again, that is not negotiable. Higher assets may offset, may allow a higher purchase price, but they do have a minimum standard for assets for closing. Credit's a 580 credit score, and we haven't heard that for a while from traditional lenders. Now, and within the 580 range, it's, this is probably not as hard a number as the first two. There's a little bit of room in this. It depends on how we got to the 580 or 575 or 570. What got us to that number? And that's one of the discussions that we have with the borrower and trio as I work with clients trying to get them into a pre-approved status. Another hard and fast, this is, a, this is rigid, is they do check a 24 month rent history. And they want you to be clean for 24 months. I actually had a customer that we'll discuss a bit next week he didn't do that, and I lost a pre-approval over his rent history. It's kind of sad, but that's 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 the overview of the standards they have, Carrie. And it's much like a lender has income, asset, and credit standards. They have the same thing, but they have more latitude. So, John, I have a question regarding that that uh, rent history. Let's just say that somebody has gone through some difficult times during COVID nineteen, and they've fallen behind during this time period. Um, do they have time right before the, the purchase happens? I mean, what's the time limit if they've, if they've had anything derogatory right now? What kind of program do you have to go through? Well, with COVID and, and some of the rent forbearance things that many customers took advantage of, 
Part has to do with the understanding of the situation. This is where Creole, and if, what's the story? What's the backstory? What happened? Was the person furloughed? And are they back to work now? Was there a gap where they didn't make? You want to know the whole picture. Now, if the person had a job and decided not, not to pay rent because they didn't have to because of the forbearance question, if you issue on rent, and they couldn't be evicted, that customer may not be eligible for Creole for a while. But the person who was laid off, whose hours were cut back, who didn't have a financial hardship tied directly to COVID, that may be more workable. I mean, the, I mean there, this is not a hard rule in the sense that uh, if you miss one payment, you're in trouble. COVID changes some of the things in that COVID discussion. They haven't had, a, Trio has not had a lot of this is my understanding yet, but they're gonna have it obviously as, as we go forward, as those customers come into our arena, and they'll deal with it. But as I understand it, they want to know why we had missed payments. Did it make sense? So it sounds a little bit like there's some elements of judgmental underwriting involved, old fashioned underwriting. Well, you know, this, this is not necessarily matrix underwriting or automated underwriting. They're not, they're, that's why they have the ability to do 580. That's why they have the ability to hear the story. Can't, I mean, the, the, the one element is can they get this person ready for home ownership in three years? If, if they feel they can. And if they believe the person is a stable person in terms of making rent payments on time, because they are a tenant in this first two or three year period, they're a renter and Trio wants to have that debt service because they have to make payments on their loan. So like, like any other landlord, they want people who are gonna make payments and they wanna make sure they can help this person within a two or three year period to get them into home ownership. That's kind of the discussion they have. And as a lender, one of my discussions with Trio is, is when clients, when they do have a, a pushback from underwriting, how can we fix it? How can we address it? And they seem to be very open to ideas. They're patient. And um, what can I say? It's different. So if I am, uh, if I'm considering going into this program, my, you know, we've talked a little bit about, but just kind of give us the rundown. And so I have to have at least a 580 credit score. I have to have X amount of monthly income. I have to have, what did you say, something about $4,000, liquid assets. And then I, I can call you and we can do an application and see if I, if I fit in there. And then what do you do next? Well, basically the true application process then again is a lender. If I take a loan application, a lot of them, many of them will be taken online through our secure website. And Trio has one too. So what will happen, oftentimes I may have the client apply to me first. So if we have if there's issues they may be concerned about, I'll set up the file in my system and then I'll say, let's here's what Trio can do for you and let's push you to Trio. And we'll have the client apply into the Trio system. I have clients that apply directly into Trio. Now, one of the reasons that I would like to see the client is that they may be 30 days from having a full home ownership where they don't have to go through Trio. And if they can move into full home ownership today, the advantage is that they don't have to wait two or three years to become full home owners and they can negotiate a little differently. So that means, so I like to see it if I can, but it's not a requirement. If people want to go to Trio, they, Trio is online, they can go direct to Trio on the application process. When they do apply, the key thing they're going to get when they apply is the, what's called the Trio application number. I need that number. So I can link myself to them directly. So then I can talk to the trio about their case, like I would one of my underwriters. I can talk to them directly because I'm get, they give me permission to talk to the underwriter trio so I can help negotiate and understand what we have to do to make this thing happen for the customer. So John, is this product available statewide? Because I'm sure there's people that, I know there's people who are watch these that are you know south of Tucson, up to Flagstaff, all over the place that watch these videos. So. Where does Trio come in? If, I, if I'm in Flagstaff, can I take advantage of this? If I'm in Tucson, it's, it's not a county specific product, is it? No, actually Trio is busy. It's actually active in six states fully. They're in process of becoming another 10, 12 states. They're bringing a line. Arizona is one of their key markets where in the entire state is open. Um, a while back they relaxed, they had some property standards and they become more reliant on the property inspection process, like you would in a regular purchase, they get a property inspection as part of the process. 
to validate the properties in good condition. They don't want to have a tenant in a property that requires a lot of fix up work later on uh, to, to, or to move in. So they're not looking for fixer uppers. We're looking for homes that are ready, pretty much ready to move in right now. Um, but yeah, the, there's no part of the state that's it's outlawed or banished or uh, you know, it's open. Just if you're in Tucson or you're in Flagstaff or you're in Bullhead City or Prescott, you're fine. So this is a part of, for everyone watching, a part of a series that John and I are doing. So um, we've really given kind of the history now, you know, what it takes to qualify, a little bit about where someone can take advantage of it. John, what are you going to talk about with me next week? Well, next week we're going to go through a few of the case studies. Um, I've, I've got probably 15 or so applications that went into the trio so far, and some have gone well. Uh, a couple haven't gone well as things developed, and I wanted to kind of share some real life stories uh, to kind of give a, a better picture of how Trio can benefit customers who, and there's, there's no one reason people come to Trio, there are, but there's something that brought them here that, may, that where a full homeownership wasn't viable today, and uh, that's what we're going to be sharing next week. All right, John, do you want to give uh, your contact information one more time before we end? Yeah, I can be reached at 928 area code 273-2248. And if you just want to go ahead and apply online, it's my name, John Preston, 123.com. And if anybody wants uh, additional information on how to get a hold of John, you can always message me, uh, email me, text me, just, you know, however it's best for you on whatever platform you're watching this on. But I'm Carrie Sparks, your Arizona title gal. I can be reached at 602-715-5704. I've got all kinds of innovative marketing and sales strategies coming on to uh, the market with me um, this fall. I'm super excited about it. So if you're a realtor loan officer, if you're uh, an attorney, a developer, uh, give me a call. I promise I will not let you down. I'm super excited about where we're going with our industry. So John, thank you for joining us. And uh, everybody who is watching, thank you for your time. I appreciate you to all the customers that work with me. Um, you mean the world to me. So thank you so much for your business. And if you haven't uh, created a relationship with anyone at Pioneer Title, please put me to work. Again, I can be reached at 602-715-5704. I can service the entire state of Arizona, and I'm really proud of it. And uh, so thank you so much for watching. And uh, John and I will be back next week. Thanks so much again. Bye-bye.